Hello, Mr. Nygren here. So, this is a fan made game, another fan made game. It's not a remake this time. Well, it kind of is. It's a remake of the snowboard mini game. And unlike in the official game, Final Fantasy VII for the PlayStation 1 or for the PC, unlike the official game, you can play as not only uh, not just Cloud, but uh, Tifa, Lockhart, and Barrett Valak as well. Uh, Cloud Strife is his full name. Okay, so uh, we can play as Cloud, we can play as Barrett, and we can play as Tifa. We have the field models of the official game. They look like this. Unfortunately, the animations are very bad in this game. I will show you. So the animations are actually better in the PlayStation game from 1997. I don't know exactly what year this uh, minigame is from, but I believe it's probably 2019 or something. 2020 maybe. It's very recent. I found it on the internet. Okay, I might be wrong too. It might be 2015 or something. But I, I would suspect it's 2019 or 20, 2020. And it's made by uh, fans, I believe, or uh, uh, a company, I don't know, uh, of amateurs. Anyway, options, we can uh, put post-processing on Epic, we will do that. Resolution is 100%. Frame rate can be 30 FPS or frames per second. You can have 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second, or unlimited. Go for unlimited. And vertical sync is on. Good. Okay, and credits. Here we have the credits. This is a learning project for Unreal Engine 4. So this might be the same engine as the UDK uh, remake that I previewed earlier. Unfortunately, the SNES remake uh, had too loud sound. So I couldn't really hear myself for most of the video, I won't remake it. But uh, what I said pretty much was that it's an impressive fan D remake. And D remake means that they have remade something in an older format than the original game. So for example you take a PlayStation game and remake it for an older console. Okay, and the graphics, the animations and... Uh, the moves, the menus, etc. We are very, very faithful to the vanilla game, the original game from 1997. It's very impressive, but uh, unfortunately the creator Vanit didn't finish it, so we couldn't play more than 11 minutes. It was impossible to leave that area. Uh, he didn't finish the entire bombing mission, which is the first part of the game. It was slightly longer than the other uh, remake of the intro for the Unreal Engine. And I believe this game, the snowboard mini game, is also made on the Unreal Engine. Okay, so this is still Final Fantasy VII, but it has only remade the snowboard mini game. And here we have three playable characters instead of just Cloud. Uh, unfortunately, the, the animations will be very lackluster. Okay, this is a learning project for Unreal Engine 4. All rights reserved. The elements were made in Blender 3D, including characters. The characters which I display are all Square Enix property, as is the musical material used in the project, the portraits and the title of the game. Okay, Marketing is uh, strictly prohibited, uh, prohibited uh, as well as economic benefits from this project, both directly and indirectly. Final Fantasy VII is Square Enix. Yeah. Characters made by Tetsuya Nomura. Music, Nobu Uematsu, Shukubo team is used in this game. Uh, Nemesis Theory, Final Fantasy VII, Fight Team remake, Remix. Okay. Project made, Echo Specs. Okay. I like the idea of uh, making a minigame based on the snowboard minigame, but it's very poorly done. Let's try it. So we can play as three characters, and the portraits are, I believe, uh, this Barrett portrait might be fan made. I could be wrong. Uh, While well the cloud one pro probably is a slightly edited version of from another game, the Tifa one I've seen before, I believe it's a Dissidia Tifa. It's probably they have used uh, a photo uh, editing program to change the the, the, the like uh, the way the picture. 
future looks, but uh, it's still a portrait in use in the Decidia game, I believe. Okay, so we will play as Cloud. He is the only one we can play as in Final Fantasy VII for the PlayStation or the PC when, when you play the minigame. Can't play this minigame with anyone else in the vanilla games. We'll use Cloud. Try this. Uh, so we're using the keyboard. So we can move to the side. Uh, so we explode if we move into those uh, uh, moogles. They're called moogles, those things. I don't know how to jump, unfortunately. There are no instructions. I don't know if it's possible. But we can avoid those things. Maybe we should just uh, avoid them. So yeah, it's pr pulled down in the Nila game. You could actually jump, and you can accelerate your speed and uh, move to the side. And, and, uh, you could do a lot more than in this game. This game, you will accelerate the speed automatically when you move. So it will be harder and harder the, the more you uh, play. Stage, but uh, it seems impossible to jump. And you can't really <coughs> stop yourself from moving. Even in a game, I believe you could pass. You could like stop his movement. You could stop Cloud's movement and uh, and uh, like just stand still if you want. And you could move it to the side. I don't mean to the side like this, but uh, I mean straight to the left and right. And this is a cheaper version of the snowboard minigame, but with better uh, or higher resolution. Still using the same model, but uh, with way less animations for the model, so it feels, uh, feels worse than the original game, even if it looks better in terms of uh, graphical resolution. Game is from the PlayStation 1, so of course it had worse resolution. And then the PC game also had a worse resolution, but with mods you can make the PC game very good. Yeah. Compared to the PlayStation, this game of course has better resolution. It's actually pretty hard to not uh, uh, snowboard right into those moogles. I'm not sure I will be able to finish this stage at all. So we're supposed to take as many balloons as possible without uh, crashing into those moogles. And probably we have finished the stage if we manage to avoid the moogles uh, long enough. And there are two other stages too. We have three stages and three characters. And the only goal is to take the balloons and avoid the moogles in the vanilla game. So it wasn't really a matter of gaining points or anything. You could probably get uh, in the gold saucer uh, area of Final Fantasy VII. I believe you could play a snowball minigame as well. So you could uh, probably get, get points like this. But uh, there are, there's also the snowball minigame in the story. And uh, when you do that part, it's just a way of uh, moving to a certain area in the game to do that part to reach the area where you were supposed to be at. But uh, if you are doing it in the gold saucer, like a minigame area of the game, then uh, yeah, it will probably work something like this, but uh, way better. As you can do way more moves than simply uh, moving forward and uh, then avoiding the moves. Believe in the vanilla game. Yeah, this is a cheaper version with, uh, made in Unreal Engine, so of course the Unreal Engine 4 has a sharp resolution in all the games, but the game itself is, in my opinion, worse. Okay, I still wanted to preview it on the channel, because it's from Fantasy 7 and it's a fan-made game, and as the creator said,
said it's a Yeah, it could have been way, uh, way better. It could have been more like the original. In terms of animations. Can slow down the speed by moving to the side. You see, I don't know if that will affect the points if we uh, are slower to finish the actual stage. So we could just move to the side like this. Okay, but I've thrown the game. Thank you for watching, and uh, 